Kristinov digging short. Kristin able to keep the zone. Driving the ledge of the boards. Finds its way to Crazy on the far side. And this is going to be a big change for Boston viewers with Jim Montgomery. I mean, he's influenced by some of the stuff that Craig Berube has done in St. Louis. He wants to keep that puck down low. And oh, now it's just scores! He just came off the line on a spin move and in one fluid motion. Beat Kemper through the final ball, giving Boston a 2 0 edge. Then more dynamic A plus scoring chance rather than just funneling pucks from the side. And this is just a spin around, turn around shot where he uses the defenseman as a screen. And it slides underneath the goalie stick, underneath his pads, catches it by surprise. Keep our eye on the strength of Pasternak here. Pucks off the watch check, goes to the middle and the guts of the ice right there and spins and shoots. And what a shot that is right there. Penalty Forsling has expired. Patrice Bergeron spins the pass to Pasternak. Oh, magic! Now you see it! Now you know! 3-1 Boston! I mean, just the awareness to come back for the puck by Bergeron and know that he has Pasternak flying up through the neutral zone, tape to tape. We said attack this D. They're down to four. And Pasternak... Against Bergeron. To the corner, centers, Pasternak scores! Rink is going to go try to go stick on puck right there, and it goes off of the, the stick, and you see the reaction from Debrinket as it elevates. And we have a 6 5 game. You see the how upset to bring it, it snaps his blade right there. David Krejci sends Taylor Hall up his off wing. It deflects across the goal mouth and Pasternak packs it. Two on Boston. Taylor Hall changes the geometry with his power skating and Pasternak goes to the front. He's going to very quickly find it. Up the off wing. Taylor Hall doesn't stay on the left side. He rotates. You just switch positions. You pick up speed, running turn. You get that tape to tape pass. It allows you to maintain a certain level of speed. Just throw it in the direction of the front of the net. Force Flurry to have to make a play on the puck. Pasternak backhands it around. Krejci. Lindholm keeps it on the line. And home to Cray. <laughs> Pasternak buries it. One timer. That one didn't hop on him. <laughs> but they were able to keep it in the offensive end, I believe. And then it's just a very simple two man up high, get into that umbrella, find Pasternak around the dot on the elbow, and let him do his thing. And that's that bullet one timer. Great weight transfer. You know, you work on that shot every day, all day in practice. When you get your opportunities from there, you want to be lights out. Know where you get your scoring chances from, particularly on the power play. Catch and release. DeBrusque tips it wide to Marchand, to Lindholm. Feeds it through to Bergeron. Pass it up. A drive. And it's 5-1. Sometimes only has to move three or four feet in order to change what the Bruins are trying to do. Here he moves out towards the point to shorten up that backhand feed from Lindholm. Lindholm makes a heads-up pass. Then that little pump fake like he's going to go to the net knowing he has Pasternak right where he wants him. Line eight down, gets right back up, then takes a hit there from Lindholm. Now Line will come right back at Lindholm now. Bouncing puck. Gets ahead. Bruins in the zone. There's a shot. Scores! Pasternak. Wow. He beats Elvis. And it is 4-0 Boston. And as Pasternak gets it, moves to the middle and shoots between the legs of Gavrikov. Back to the point. Jones, long wrist shot. Blocked before it got through by Hall. Pasternak sweeps it to center. Across the line, Pasternak. Backhander. Score! An impossible angle backhander, and Pasta.
Pasternak somehow slips it past Shesterkin for the early lead. Here as he goes up the ice, watch, he's going to take the check from BC. He ends up shrugging BC off, doesn't lose his stride, and then he's able to take this puck from his own zone, has enough room to get it settled, take the check, and then shovel this at the net. And Shesterkin, who's got right up against the post, except for that right shoulder, and seeing eye shot off the bar and in. To the point, Hannafin to Kadri. Back for Hannafin, he'll shoot, hit a leg in front. Anderson diving for it. Pasternak has got it up for Marchand. In the open man, Marchand feeds it for Pasternak. Knocks it out of the air, goes to the net and scores. One in, and just look at the chemistry between Marchand and Pasternak. Beautiful, what beautiful hands from Pasternak. Flips the pass to Pasternak, behind the back, McAvoy, Morozik never saw it. Pasternak saved by Morozik, out beyond his crease. Marshawn to Pasternak, and they pop the goal with four seconds left in Radish's penalty. Crossed on the left wing boards, and then they get puck retrieval, and now they get into the setup that they like. And they get closer and closer to the goal with their umbrella. McAvoy's one-timers from pretty close range from the top of the umbrella. That just misses. And the puck hopes over Bashan's stick initially. Looked like he had a rebound chance, second chance goal, because he had a lot of net. Morozik doing the job, keeping the Bruins off the board. But it's the seam pass that does him in. Floating pass off of Nosek stick. Felino goes right past Dickinson and dishes to Pasternak. I mean, it's just impressive. Had an early chance in the shift. Try to rip one high over the block. It got denied. Similar play where he comes down the off wing. This time he's a little further out by the dot. But he's going to put this puck in a shooting position as if he's going to shoot that back foot snapshot. He freezes Mirage. Picks up the puck again. Moves it across. Away from McAvoy. Being watched there by Hagel. Now in the corner. Jake DeBrus tries a walkout move. Pasternak scores on a nice feed from DeBrus. And Pasternak buries it, 5-1 Boston. Yeah, we've seen this from Boston as the game has gone on. This is a heck of a move by DeBrusque. Coming out of the corner, he sees just a little sliver, attacks the front of the net, and just when you go, okay, I can't give him a free chance, Ian Cole's got to try and stop that pass across, but it is threaded right through, and Vasilevsky's at the mercy of Pasternak. He gains control and feeds it over to Pasternak, though. Here's the dangerous Pasternak. Marshan. Point shot score. From the slot, it's Pasternak, and the Bruins cut it to a two-goal game. Five-on-three goal again. He set it up. There he is at the top. Waits for the, the shot. Uh, and there's a partial screen. Lundell tried to get in front with Spencer Knight, but that goes just underneath the crossbar. Boy, he lets that thing go. The puck skips off Marshawn's stick. Brad Marshawn. Bostonok scores! Boston wins! And the Bruins are the first team in NHL history to start the season 12-0 way that they are winning they get down two nothing in this hockey game it doesn't look great in the opening period periods two three in overtime impressive what this team is about is able to do and they take advantage of the power play the penalty killing again something they need to continue to work on they're giving up power play goals but their own power play is dynamic and here it is again Pasternak with a one-timer Boston has the fourth highest percentage of its total goals from the power play, 28.7%. March on to Pasternak! And that percentage is going to increase. The Bruins draw first blood. 
the ability to create seams in the offensive zone with a man advantage. If you're on that elbow side, you've got to be able to move around. Marshawn's on the elbow because it's DeBrusque who's the low guy who rotates to the front of the net. That means there's more space down deep. McAvoy's looking maybe one timer at the top of the circle, but it opens up that cross ice. Logan O'Connor around the end boards. O'Connor played three years of college hockey and high Pasternak. Oh, filthy! Sneak away in period one when Krejci tried to find him. That one didn't quite work out. This one does. Colorado fails to get the puck deep. Pasternak recognizes it, flies the zone, little backhand layout pass by Krejci. And shows he's going to bite on that move to the back end. You know, a couple of them were, were good stops by Swayman that they've needed. But the quantity certainly hasn't been there. Half a minute to go in the second. Pasternak pivots and scores! It's 3-2! A wrap around. The first guy right there is Bergeron. I'm not sure if he tried to play that puck or if he let it go. Was there some communication at ice level? But focus on Pasternak. He's able to handle that wrap around on his back end, spin with possession, get into a shooting area with that. I think he came in with a little house money going, I got nothing to lose. I may as well just have some fun. And he had 15 minutes and seven shots worth of fun. Here's Clifton, gives it off for Hall. Pasternak did not get it in his wheelhouse. He was set up. Stick high in the air to the Raptors. Krejci gives it off, shot, score! David Pasternak, and there it is. Releases the quick, short one-timer to give the Boston Bruins a 1-0 lead, and Pasternak continues to hurt the Avalanche, his 18th goal of the season. They can get that shot away, and the Avs are thinking they're in perfect defensive position. There's the first one that was missed past to Pasternak. Then the puck goes down low and watch him find the soft ice. He's not even in the screen. He's on the right-hand side and just comes in late like Brett Hall used to do. The pass is also beautiful. David Krejci just throws it right there. And you want to talk about a post. Bugstad, one of the four to kill the penalty along with Josh Brown, Lawson Kraus, giveaway to the front. And Mamelka again, it pops in front. And a shot and a goal, and it's Pasternak. And just like that, the Bruins have tied it. Players in the National Hockey League right there, 88 and White. And it's Bukestad. He's got the puck, and he gives it right away. And the Coyotes can't get it out. And typically, always ends up in the back of the net, which it does here. And 88 and White, the big one-timer on a tee, and Vimalka's not going to stop that one. He made a few beauties, but couldn't get to that one. Lindholm to Pasternak, and a stick save by Tarasov. Marshawn settles. Lindholm to Pasternak. Scores his 20th of the season. 1-0 Boston. Tremendous start to the season. Only got a couple of assists in his last 12 games, I believe. But he's got first power play time here this afternoon. He's quarterbacking out at the top of the blue line, at the top of the umbrella. Marshawn's moving the puck quickly. They found Bergeron for a couple opportunities, and then they shifted their attack to Pasada. A one-timer where he's looking for Bergeron. A one-timer of his own. Bergeron away from Lomberg. Pasternak's drive goes off the webbing Florida of Spencer Knight's glove. Marshawn to Bergeron. Pasternak scores on the rebound. 4-0 Boston. Back out to the point, which a lot of people would have done in this situation. But he's going to hang on to it, hang on to it, hang on to it. Wait for Bergeron to get open. He gets open just enough for that quick release. Right pad stop. But the rebound finds Pasenak, who doesn't just hang out up by the dot. He attacks the net. you got to get a little closer. Give yourself a chance to get to that rebound. And his wrist shot just goes through the five hole, or six hole, I should say. Underneath that right arm. 
Pasternak drops to Krejci. Gustafson can't clear past McAvoy. The give and go with Pasternak does not connect. Uh, good idea by Pasternak. Oh, crazy bounce and Pasternak is the beneficiary. Didn't see any Winnipeg players doing that this morning. Well, certainly going to pay off for the Boston Bruins. I mean, Hellebuck's been unbelievable given the opportunities Boston has had. When they've had their opportunities, they've been outstanding. Hellebuck wants to get out and stop that wraparound. It's going to take a bounce off the stance and come right back to the front of the net. Have to maybe look at that one more time to see whether or not Connor Clifton maybe got a partial touch on the stick there to make that a bit more challenging for Tatar. Here's Krejci down low. Pasternak puts it in. Bounced off Blackwood to Pasternak. And the Bruins, just like that, have the lead. Just hanging around the net, and he's able to slide this one past Blackwood right here. Uh, it starts with a turnover, a little wraparound from Blackwood. He makes the initial save as it's redirected from Pasternak, but he stays with it and chips it with the backhand as Blackwood's down. Comes right back to him and just through the five hole. and Didn't get much on it. So you mentioned Dano got a big group of his friends and family here, Long Branch, New Jersey native. I just saw a couple of them. There's tons here. Here's Pasternak ripping it and scoring again. David Pasternak is one of the best snipers in the NHL, and he has scored twice in the last six minutes. Pulls that puck to the middle and patience, and then he can really let it go, as we know. Watch this. Just a little pull to the backhand, then gets to the middle of the ice, gives him a better shooting angle. Watch this shot as he rips it past Blackwood over the blocker to make it 3-1 and you know it, it's Zaka turns in the center circle back to Lindholm sharply to Carlo touch pass and Pasternak finishes wow one touch hockey Jack, you felt like the team that was going to complete a play first was going to score. And there were some chances to be had, and they just weren't connecting. They were off by a hair. Not this time. Heads up play by Zaka. The neutral is over that little regroup. Post up by Carlo. Nice little touch pass. Don't overhandle it, Brandon Carlo. That's a heads up play, because now you keep the play in motion. And David Krejci knew exactly where he was going with this puck. Martian stretches to Pasternak. Pasternak. Trying to navigate his way into the attacking zone with possession. Knocked off his stick. To the middle. Poster holding, shooting. He scores. Too much time for David Posternock. And he has tied the game at one. So the Kings, this again, I think the Bruins, it doesn't, it's not a direct Russia chance, but that long pass got them into the area. And then look at this. And it goes seven hole on Copley. I think, to be honest here with Pasternak, watch this, head up all the way. He leans into it and he goes to where players go to nowadays. It's over the pad, under the blocker. It's just that, it's that space, especially against butterfly goaltenders. One of the few spots. Fiala fans on the shoot in, Pasternak, bullseye. And that'll put this one to bed. Of course, your objective here is to get the red line and get it in. And you want to stick in a one right there just to get the red line, right? If you could have had control there, he would have been able to do so. Touch pass, Bergeron shot block. That was Ferraro. McAvoy to Marchand again. Marchand, Pasternak scores! Over the shoulder of James Reimer, who was down. Power play goal, Boston. They retake the lead. And Marchand just gives himself some time and space, waiting for Pasternak to roll up to the top of the circle there. And then just catch, release, top corner. Look at Reimer. He's trying to find out, getting as big as possible to cover as much net. But when you got this guy puck on his stick. Here's Marchand in transition with Pasternak. Brad Marchand throws on the brakes, slides it behind the net. Ferraro there gets position on 
Pasternak, they battle. Marshand ends up with the puck. Pasternak scores! Twenty-ninth of the year for David Pasternak, and it's 4-2 Boston. Just prior to that, that, that puck was really Ferraro's, but it was Pasternak that strips him from it. Then he gets open on the side of the cage. But that play doesn't happen without Pasternak coming in on a play that he had already lost. Ferraro had won that puck. He got to that puck first, and Pasternak is the guy. Okay, right there, he could have engaged with Pasternak first with a shoulder. Buy yourself a little bit of time. And then he wins that puck battle, gets open, and just puts it in the net. Zaka moves it ahead, and Pasternak just has it poked away by the back, checking Benoit. David Pasternak wheels with it, throws it to the open corner. Going back to last season, Pasternak now at 61 goals in his last 83 games as his one-timer finds the back of the net, and for the sixth time in his career, he reaches the 30-goal plateau. Pasternak is the top sniper in the NHL because... I mean, this shot, the one-timer, is something that he just specializes in. John Gibson, you see, he can't see that shot. Both Benoit and John Klingberg are acting as screens, and the shot for Pasternak in the last five and a half years, he has 91 power play goals, and I don't know how Marshan missed there. McAvoy at the top of the zone. Pasternak, that's a shot pass into the middle, knocked away from Bergeron. Pasternak follows up and scores. Megan, 92 power play goals in the last five and a half years for David Pasternak. That's exactly what he wants to do with this puck. It's kind of a scrambly type play. Puck's laying around the slot area. Pasternak sneaks in and just zips it low. And again, I don't think John Gibson was able to pick up the release of that puck. It goes right through the wickets. And this deadly Boston power play expands their lead to a couple of goals. Bakaninen carries back into the Boston zone from off the left boards. Wires it across the top of the blue. Kept on the far side by Terry. But here's a breakaway. Pasternak. Hat trick. Turnover. Pasternak sniffs it out, and he just bolts up the middle of the ice. He gets separation from Klingberg, who was the chaser on the play. Pasternak, there's the turnover, and look at look at that pass. Boy, that was a thing of beauty. Right on the tape, there's the fake, the little motorcycle kick. And John Gibson bit on that fake, and as soon as Pasternak saw Gibson's shoulders move forward, he knew that he had him. When the goaltender's shoulders go forward, he can't move laterally. He just can't. You're off balance. Pasternak recognized that, put one more move on and flipped it up top like it was nothing. Big ball who has the go-ahead goal. One hands it back to Timmy. And across. It's hurt by Pasternak. And a break. With Marshak going to the net. Kevin Hayes up the boards. D'Angelo knocked down by Pasternak. A feathery pass from Krejci. And Pasternak tips in Zaka's centering pass. The magic of David Krejci on display. It's a pinch down the wall, and it looked like the Flyers were going to handle that pinch by Connor Clifton. But they mishandle the puck and allows David Krejci to make the steal and his vision and his ability to throw a saucer pass right into space, tape to tape. And then Zaka recognizing my only chance is to pull this around the dive from D'Angelo and then tape to tape as Pasenak. McAvoy. Pasenak clips it to Krejci. He can't stuff it past Urson. 
Rock does. His 35th goal of the season. It's 5-0 Boston. The reaction is okay, David Krejci. We try to set you up twice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and score now. <laughs> The Bruins worked at four on three, two a tee. They set up David Krejci at the top of the paint. He kind of healed the one time. McAvoy, catch and release. Bergeron took a sweep at it. Bergeron breaks it out of his skates. McAvoy, to Pasternak. Oh, a deadly one-timer. Charlie McAvoy, patient, waiting for the seam to open. And it's puck retrieval again. Not only the pitch down the wall, the perfect pass by McAvoy, but it happened earlier when a shot by McAvoy was up for grabs in the slot. The Bruins, they value the puck. They get the puck back. And there's the seam pass. Real good look at Pitlick out of the corner. Hoffman. Pitlick. Krejci clears, Pasternak with Saka, Pasternak, jump to the heart! The Bruins secure a two-goal lead! They played a heck of a game, they played hard, they gave the Bruins all they could handle, but the Bruins at the end, they make the plays that count to win your hockey games. We talked about it going into the third period. The Bruins with pressure now with a minute to go. Here's Taylor Hall turning and shooting. Deflected in front. Krejci tracks it down. Grizzly waits. Has Pasternak off the bench and they score. 3-2 Bruins with 48 seconds left. Back and they had a lot of pressure. And here's the shot. Pasternak had just come off the ice, or come on the ice and off the glove. There you see him coming into your pitcher. There he is. And takes the shot through his screen.